Hi, this is Mario Romero with, with Romero & Company at the Melcher Agency, your Phoenix Real Estate Connection. And thank you for taking the time to view, in our, to view our video. Today it's my pleasure to introduce Nikos Santa. Correct. He's a spokesperson for the Donor Network with Arizona. Yeah, the Donor Network of Arizona, the, it's a nonprofit that serves the entire state mm -hmm. uh, in organ, tissue, and cornea donation. So let's start off by telling me a little bit about yourself, your background, and why you're with this organization and about the organization, and why you're passionate about this organization. Sure. So you tell me, you go ahead, start. You have, how much time do you got? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> um, in a nutshell, I'm an Arizona transplant via San Diego. Uh, before I started working with the Network of Arizona as, in my current role as a spokesperson, I worked in news, I was a background in journalism for eight years. Uh, it's a television journalism, so a lot of video editing and, and that kind of thing. And I saw it, kind of that shift, if you will, even at the end of the day, I kind of feel like it's the same story, or same same job, because it's based on telling stories. Mm -hmm. um, but I saw it as an opportunity to use the skills that I had gained over the last, or the previous eight years in news to really help a cause that I didn't even realize how important it would be to me until working for the organization. Because you, you think about organ donation, um, it's a simple decision to make, or I should say the, the, to do it, like the checkbox at MBD, for example, mm -hmm. or if you register on donatelifeac.org, it's all the same registry. It's really quick to make that decision, but the implications are huge. Mm -hmm. Because you could save, just on the organ donation front, up to eight lives. And when you were meeting families of donors who have gone on to save other people and we meet people who are kidney, liver, heart, lung recipients and the simple idea to say yes I want to help people when I don't need my organs anymore. It's like the way you say the gift of life. It is the gift of life. The ultimate. Yeah. yeah and and at the end of the day while you probably know that you won't need your organs after you pass away we still consider it the most selfless and most generous because you're giving something and you will get nothing in return for it. Now, how much, how is it moving along? Do you see more people getting involved and in checking on doing the organ donor or compare, compare, and there is not compared to other parts of the country or do you have any Well, ideas? so direct, I don't have direct access to information from some of the other organ procurement organizations. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the state, I can follow up with you about that and see if I can find some of those. Mm -hmm. But I know, in general, organ donation in the United States has been increasing over the last five or six years, relatively steadily. Arizona has had three consecutive, what we consider record-breaking years. So we've had more number of donors. We've had those same donors save more people than ever before. Last year, Arizona donors alone saved 779 people. Wow. It was just Arizona donors. So consider, when you factor in the entire country, there's thousands of people who got a second chance, and then all those people have family and friends and work and things that they're going to do and change, so the ripple effect is huge and it goes far and wide. Um, Arizona, we're on track right now to probably have, again, a, the best organ donation year uh, ever. And now I what? think it's because most people are saying yes. The, mm -hmm. the registry in the state right now has about 3.6 million people who have registered. That's great. Now, what does what does the donor network with their what they do? What do, what's their purpose? Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that if you do any just even simple research, that the process of donation from recovery to transplantation has so many parties involved. All the responsibilities are segmented. So Donor Network of Arizona handles the state's registry. So if you check the yes box, I want to be a donor at the MVD, or if you sign up directly with us, uh, that goes all into one database that only our organization has access to. Um, from there uh, is our job based on referral calls we get from hospitals when someone passes away to find out if that person was already registered. And if they were and they're a potential donor, then we contact the family and share their wishes and walk them through the whole process of what it looks like and what that what it really means, what the implications are. Because we're not in the work of organs and body parts. What we believe we're doing is ushering generosity. Mm -hmm. And so once that happens, then we are involved in the recovery of donated organs and tissue. From there, it gets, uh, there's a national organization that helps with the allocation, so deciding who the next patient is with algorithms and computer systems so that there's no human, you know, objective input. And 
then the transplant center and the surgeons decide whether or not they accept those donations. Now your organization, so, unlike a, say, a uh, living donor, how, you have to act very quickly after somebody passes on. Absolutely. How, how, you, you, you're doing a lot to, for, to get this done. On average, how quickly does that happen? Uh, it's hard to say, there's not really an average per se, but uh, to kind of paint a better picture here, we tell everyone who's registered to share their decision with their family and friends because okay. it is kind of fast. And it's not because we want to be insensitive, particularly mm -hmm. in a time of sudden and probably unexpected grief for a family and, and the loved ones. But we're a highly regulated organization and the, right. and the F FDA is one of the regulating agencies, believe it or not. So we have to recover tissue within 24 hours. Okay. So it moves really fast. Yes. And that's why we don't want to step on anybody's toes. We mm -hmm. don't want anyone to think that we're being insensitive by doing that. But it is by design done quickly because of the regulations that we have. Time out of the essence. Absolutely. And we have people on the organ front, there's people who it's about 113,000 people in the United States right now who are waiting for the call that says we found a matching organ donor that's going to save your life. So we don't want to make them wait either. Right. Well, so you do such great work. Now, how can our audience help you? I mean, what can they do? Or the, Well, our really call to action, the only one that we have, because we're already asking so much, yes. and it's a huge deal to be an organ donor, and we appreciate that. We want people to register. We want people to do their research, and at the end of the day, sign up to save lives as an organ and tissue donor. Mm -hmm. And... If they have questions, they can contact us with all of our contact information is on our website on donatelifeaz.org, which is the same place that you can register as an organ tissue okay. donor. And, so, and of course, there will be people who say no, they, want, they don't want to be organ donors. We respect that just as much as someone who says yes, because we, what we want to follow through on Arizona's, um, their, the decision that they made for what happens after they pass away, and we respect both avenues. Mm -hmm. And often make sure that you tell your family what your wishes are. So Absolutely. it happens quickly when, unfortunately, when the time comes, because there is no guarantee in this world, and life changes in an instant. It does. Yeah, so, and that's what we we want all Arizonans to live long, and yes. healthy lives, and when that's not possible, share the gift of life. Well, thank you for sharing this great information, Nikos. And uh, if you can give us your website again. Yes, donatelifeaz.org. Uh, if you prefer in Spanish, donavida acepta punto And um, phone number. It's on the website. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've memorized that. It's because the red, the state's registry, you do it online, it has yes. to be done. So that's okay. the easiest way to do it. So if you have any questions about this great organization, about real estate, or just getting a home loan, give us a call at 602-252-4191. Also, if you know of a great organ, nonprofit organization that would benefit by a video, give me a call. Thanks for visiting, and see you next time, and make it a great day.